Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Rosa Technocrat. Today I am here with my next video and this is about critical vulnerability. There was a critical vulnerability announced uh, related to authentication bypass in Node.js web socket module. Be aware, this is a critical vulnerability means it's highly impacting and you should know all details about this. Okay, so let's start getting more details about this vulnerability and how it can affect you and how you should take care and avoid this vulnerability. So this vulnerability authentication bypass in, in node.js uh, is uh, a very critical vulnerability and the CBSS score for this vulnerability is uh, 9.6 as you can see here. So we should have a workaround or we should focus on this vulnerability as soon as we can okay so if you see the cbss score here is 9.6 along with the severity critical so please please if you are affected by this vulnerability you have to do the workaround or you have to think to upgrade the device as soon as possible we'll know if you are affected all those details we will be discussing so this vulnerability was published just recently on january 14 and uh, this has an update also on gen 15 so uh, let's see what these details are okay and the impact of this vulnerability is execute unauthorized code or command so basically what the attacker can do is uh, if he is able to misuse this vulnerability or is if he is able to gain the access then he can execute unauthorized code or commands and can also impact your device in production which might have a severe impact if you um, if it impacts your network or your device and you might have an uh, uh, denial of service firewall may go down or uh, the to the device itself like basically he can get an access super admin access okay let's go what this vulnerability says here the the important point that you need to note is e okay let's start from the full summary better an authentication bypass vulnerability authentication bypass means no need to authenticate like attacker is not required to be authenticated anyone can attack this and this is an authentication bypass that means the attacker don't have to authenticate to the 48 firewall so this is because of this authentication bypass this became super critical because anyone over the internet who has a reachability to your firewall to the admin interface to the https of the 48 can attack this can make advantage of this vulnerability more critical to this is and could allow remote attacker to gain super admin access super admin privilege so if an unauthenticated attacker gets a super admin privilege to your device then you may think of what he can do so basically he has access to your fortigate okay so that's why this is super critical super critical guys please take care of it if you are running version 7 dot zero we'll come to that okay so an authentication bypass vulnerability in 40 os and 40 proxy could allow remote attackers to gain super admin privileges by sending crafted request to node.js websocket module so what is affected within the 40 os is the node.js websocket so if your device is listening on uh, like https and uh, serving uh, the management of course it will serve so there is a issue in the node.js websocket in 40 os code which is uh, the reason or that is the reason for this vulnerability most important reports indicate active exploit exploitation in the wild this means this is being exploited by the attackers actively and too much so you should take care of it and should restrict or should do the workaround or fix for your device immediately as soon as possible next let's check 
who is affected okay which version is affected basically so affected version so if you are running n40 os 7.0 then you are affected where is the fix fix is 7.0.7 .7. so anything in 7.0.17 blue anything blue dot 17 is affected or you can simply say the full 7.0 is affected and the fix for 7.0 has been released in 7.0.17 okay so the fix is in which version fix is in 7.0.17 so basically 17 is the fix rest entire 7.0 is affected okay this vulnerability not only affects the 40 os but it also impacts 40 proxy so uh, please check your 40 proxy as well i know there are very less numbers of 40 proxy maybe but 40 os is critical because uh, many users might not have upgraded their devices to 7.2 or 7.4 or 7.6 so you should check your fortigate if you are on 7.0 please immediately upgrade to 7.0 or apply the workaround or restrict access to the administrative interface or the https okay let's talk about some indicator of compromise so what these indicators of compromise is so indicator of compromise means if your device has already been breached or it's already been uh, impacted by this vulnerability so you will see the admin login activities admin login activities uh, in your logs it's not like the login activities from your own devices instead it will be from some random uh, devices okay and you will also notice admission admin creation logs that means any attacker who is trying to make use of this vulnerability will try to create an admin account and then he will use that admin account or the super admin account to do whatever he want to do so under your admin log event or a system event you will see something like object attribute configured user admin add the cfgd id so basically what he does is he creates the admin okay and then he tries to do whatever he want so make sure you check your system events if you are already impacted and in the system event you should notice some unusual admin login activity and admin creation lo logs so these are important things here okay admin login activity admin creation logs please check if you are already impacted or compromised so uh, the threat actor operations observed what are the various operations that have been observed uh, by the threat actor so you will notice creating admin accounts with random usernames maybe xyz abc fb cb anything any random users will be getting created if you are already breached or if you are all if your device is already compromised then creating local user accounts and adding them to ssl vpn user so what he does is using the vulnerability they first create a admin account then they create that local user account and add them to ssl vpn groups okay and then using ssl vpn groups and firewall policy he can get access to all your internal network access because he will add his own user into the vpn if you have it configured or he can create firewall policies uh, to allow like from his source but that may be identified so what he does is uh, they are trying to add themselves in the vpn so that it's encrypted and then using ssl vpn to gain internal network access okay so creating admin accounts creating local user accounts modifying settings such as firewall policy and addresses using ssl vpn to gain internal network access and these are some of the examples of the randomly generated usernames that they are trying to use g u g h m k uh, ed8 these, these are some of the randomly uh, generated usernames that have been observed based on the devices which are already compromised and these are some of the source ips noted for this breach 
uh, all this information is also available on FortiGate PCERT website, which is like the public announcement of this vulnerability. I got these details from their public released website, PCERT itself, fortiGuard.com slash PCERT. Now, coming to the most important part is the workaround, like what you can do to avoid or to be safe from this issue. So the workaround is either disable the HTTP, HTTPS administrative access. Mostly you won't be able to do because if you need to manage the device, then you need to have HTTPS enabled on some interface. Okay. So if first is possible, then you can do this. Otherwise you should move on to the next workaround. What is the next workaround? Restrict access to the administrative interface using local and policies. So there are firewall local and policies. There are firewall local and policies. You can configure those to allow to allow access only from that specific IP addresses. So you can use firewall local and policies to restrict the access. The third option is you can use trusted host as well on all users. But for the trusted host, make sure like every admin has a defined IP address and does not contain 000 that is called the default trusted host. So you should verify none of the users should have the default trusted host that is 000 and every user should have the trusted host defined. So even if one of the users have the default 00, that means your firewall still allows access. So the preferred is the firewall local in policies, but if you can make sure like every user has defined a trusted host, then you can also use the trusted host option. Hope this will help you to be safe, protect your firewall from this breach and any queries, any doubts related to this vulnerability, you can always reach me as you know. Thank you. Thanks for watching Roja Technocrat. Have a good day ahead. Thank you.